let's check out this. You are mentioning that uh, you cut it short. Definitely much shorter. Um, see also your notes with the neck fix, the paw fix. It's all cool. To me, um, this kind of still stands out a bit. Just this moment here. You can see how the elbow suddenly, bam, shoots out and then pops down and over there and then kind of stops and has a little bit of a shootout to the left. But all this in real time feels very poppy. I would still kind of look at that section there. And I th there's something where because of the end, I had kind of a going up and then resting and then getting into a resting pose. There's something that's almost missing. I'm not saying that you need to add the ends, but there's something as as it glides down now. Boom, boom, boom. It's almost it's almost like after this, you want to shoot up more of the upper body to give this a bit more of an ending. I know this is kind of a weird note. It's not that it's physically wrong, but there's just something now that as it comes to a rest, it's almost like you want to go from here on and then ending with this paw. Push up. It's well, it's, like it's it's taking steps forward. That's why it's kind of slowly going down, looking at what it wants to, to grab. But these are the rest steps. Now it's done. And I think because it's done for rebalance and kind of settling, I feel like it would be interesting to just push that body up so that this upper section just comes up a bit as a kind of final push off. And even if for that you need to add, you know, 10 more frames or something to it, I think it will be okay. But upon first viewing, not that it's for the very first time, but watching this, this version, this section just kind of stands out. If you had to do anything, to me, it would be getting into just that section is kind of smoothing it out and just not go too far with how far elbows go out there with cats. It's usually further in, not out like humans. I would probably look at that. Then let me switch over to this here. It's interesting. There's something up something light and there's something in the other um, versions it's cool that you sent all uh different angles a everything is kind of in one axis as she goes up and down i think it'd be cool even for the whole lean to have a slight asymmetry and slight lean over especially since she has that arm up here i would kind of lean that body over so that there's something to, you know somewhere to go and that you can hold on to this, but there's just an offset in the lean because of that arm and the weapon there. And then because of that, like one leg could be closer and this one could be further out or, or high up there. Just I would bring some asymmetry in there. And I don't know how early on that is, you know, some offsets and so they don't all swing at the same time. Don't forget to... As she pushes and holds on, so that she doesn't fall down on the downward thing to me it seems like she would hold on and push against this and this would tighten which would bring up the shoulder a bit um and speaking of which it would be like an overall rotation out so that that arm to me that whole shoulder would be away from us more so that that arm with the weapon can be out she's a bit more twisted and everything so it's just some it seems a bit too simple in its posing but I see also some sliding in the paws through there. So watch out for that. Well, let me get uh, other angles there. You got this one. And here she feels, she feels really, really fast. And there's it's very stiff. Where I don't see a lot of breakup between the chest and the head and the root. Not quite buying that feels a bit too light here you can really see the ik aspect of it the straight legs breaking into the bent and into that and she has those stirrups there or whatever that's called i think the thing would be a bit different and she might maybe squeeze her knees together to hold on i don't really ride horses i definitely don't ride those type of lions so i would have to personally would have to look at more reference to see what 
how a writer would behave. But again, it just all feels very, very light and stiff. Same thing here, the breakup between uh, the chest, the neck and the head area here. It all feels like it's moving as one, going up and down. So the breakup is a bit funky. Giving this also kind of that stiff and light feel. It's almost like you want to slow down the whole thing. Just given the size. Hold on. What are my uh, hotkeys here? Uh, I have... I rarely use this. I should probably use this more. And I should probably pause this. Uh, speed. Decrease. Let's go and decrease this one more. Probably between this speed. Or that. That's not too bad. That seems a bit better to me. Yeah, just an overall slowdown. See her. Yeah, it's the same throughout. With this angle, how clear this is, it would also be nice. Even though she's holding on to it tightly, it'll be there's more tension in this arm. This still could be a bit more of a looser swing. And then I would look at just the spacing of the tip. The moment you got something like this, you want somewhat of a nice arc in it. Not saying that you have to have a very smooth um, spacing all the time. It, there needs to be some sort of hiccup because of the reaction to the steps here and the impacts. But just overall, just everything feels a bit stiff and light. I think that would be my main in reaction, especially with that head here going up and down. Let's move on to these guys here. Same thing here, feeling very stiff. Watch out, I got some intersections through there. And I thought there was some sliding. Not this one. Okay, just mostly intersections. I do like that you have, you know, the bend in. That's how what those cats are doing. But there's just something very, very light. And again, I'm not sure how early this is, it, uh, this is, but you know, there's no rotation, there's no drag overlap, there's no side tilt, there's no asymmetry. It just seems all a bit light and stiff. Let me check out. Yeah, let me go to the side one. Yeah, same thing here. Especially on something like this where you can see how just everything drops at the same time. Just has that stiff and light feel to it, especially through here. That needs to be a bit more drag overlap and separation between these sections there. Watch out, there's a harsh spacing there as the backside goes up. Bam, you can see it's sticking in the air or in terms of the height. So a bit of a softer up and down would also help. And that's the same one. I would have to look at reference. I'm curious if you're using reference, maybe you can send me the reference that you're using um, off the top of my head. I'm not sure about this full on break they might be doing this and it's all good but it looks real i'm just very curious also the timing of how they drop at the same time um but i do have to admit i'm not super familiar with a cat trot so for me i will have to look at reference um so let me know if you have reference and i can see what you're using so we can compare and if you are not i can check on my end um, and then show you something. I'm just very curious how you're going about this with or without reference. But even without reference, you can see how as this goes back, hits this line, and then you can see how there's no following through into this, like finishing that arc and going up, giving this a very harsh stop as if it was an invisible wall here. So watch the back legs. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, that being said, they're all good starts. I think there's just an adjustments in timing and then um, revisions in terms of arcs and asymmetry and everything. And looking at you very first shot, it's clear that you can do it. Um, I just don't see anything here in your notes in terms of how far along this is. So I might have been telling you 
things that you are fully aware and this is the most boring critique for you this could also be uh so let me know i was going to end it here so let me know i can always follow up with um more notes if you can clarify a few things or you have other ideas um and then you got some questions about the girl the girl death shot um but i'm going to re um respond to that via email all right that's it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you